Mount Ijen is a towering volcano in East Java, Indonesia. It's well known for its sulfur mining, blue flames, and being home to the world's largest highly acidic lake. In this video, we will tackle one of our biggest physical challenges to date as we wake up hours before dawn and hike to the top of this natural wonder. Feels sad leaving this place, it's like a little home. We left our first stop in Banyuwangi to set ourselves up at our new base camp, Sawa Ijen. This is a cozy little bungalow property overlooking beautiful rice terraces with views of Mount Ijen in the distance, even if it was a little bit cloudy. In normal, unprepared Mike and Ashley style, we don't have a whole lot of cash on us. We tried to go to an ATM, but it was closed, so we couldn't ATM use it. Is over there. Oh, there very, is one? Very ATM. Okay. Oh, cool. Close. Okay. Maybe Our just, driver. Uh, just one and a half kilometer. No problem. Oh, okay, Easy okay. peasy. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. How this place is absolutely stunning. Yeah, right? And it was what, $20 a night? Yeah, bye bye. Hi. Little rice fields and Eden. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, they did a little. I forgot it was going to be your birthday. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I was like, wait, why would, why would you put happy birthday? That's so cool. Nice, this place is cute. Yeah, right? Wow, look at this. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much. Oh, oh so how look. cute. Oh, we got some snake fruit and an apple. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> That is so cool. I never expected this. I just wanted a good view. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it's so nice. I feel like a little princess. The cafe here, or the restaurant portion of the cafe here is closed. And I don't know whether that's a permanent thing or a right now thing, but there's a restaurant within walking distance so I'm gonna go grab my wallet because you know me as prepared as I can be a little bag that I got in Vietnam back in Ninh Binh only three dollars not a bad price there goes Ashley taking Instagram videos that she'll never post I'm gonna to follow along and see if Ashley ever posts this video right here Follow us on Instagram at Mike and Ashley Travel. She won't. Alright, let's get their food out here. I mean there's people in the kitchen. Oh. Hello. Hello. Are you open? Yes. Yes? Okay, Can great. We see a menu? Ah, uh, thank you. Ooh, the nasi ayam car sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, our feet fit. It's so rare in our travels that our legs can actually fit under the tables that we sit in. <laughs> so when it happens, it's like. <laughs> but if you go to Vietnam, then you're just like on the ground anyway. So we should go back there. This sounds like it's gonna be good. Yeah. It's like rice and chicken and tofu. It's ayam bakar, which if you're not familiar with, that just means grilled chicken. I'm getting ayam goreng, which goreng means fried, so I'm getting fried chicken. <laughs> and rice. And rice and vegetables. Yeah. Okay, so we just got our food and wow, there is a lot of it. I think we probably should have just ordered one dish to split, but that's okay. It looks really, really good. We're gonna enjoy our food and uh, we'll go from there. So I messaged on WhatsApp and nobody has responded yet about our eGen tour, which I guess is kind of our fault for being underprepared and coming all the way out here without having a tour booked, but I kind of imagined this place would be able to book us a tour and yep, now it's raining. So we'll see, maybe they'll hit us up. I know our guy at the front is hanging out doing his thing, so I'll ask him in a little bit and see what's going on. I just really hope we climb this volcano. This is the only volcano I wanted to climb in all of Indonesia. Because to me, it's the most epic one. Yeah, hopefully it'll work out. <sighs> Doesn't look like the weather's cooperating though. Agent's out there somewhere. Yeah, it's like right out it there. Sucks. The guide says that the rain is only here 
and that at the top of the mountain there will be no rain. So Good. that's hopeful. Oh man, so we're climbing Egypt, huh? Oh boy. Appears that way. She sent us a photo of the top this morning. But it was beautiful this morning, right? It was, yeah, it was beautiful. And Ben Yuwangi. And to come out. I'm hopeful. I know that mountains just make no sense. We talked to the tour operator and it is 400,000 Indonesian rupiah per person because it's a weekend and because we are not Indonesian. You get a discount. It is 100,000 rupiah cheaper if you are local. So I've got to go try and sort out cash because the tour does not accept credit cards, which makes sense. They said, I hope you can pay by cash. Our driver said that there was an ATM like one and a half kilometers away. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to get into town. It's a 27 minute walk into Lichen which is like a little town just outside of where we're staying. And that's where the ATM is. I hope that it's open. And if she doesn't like doing this walk that we're doing now, <laughs> it'll be a perfect test on whether we should do this volcano hike tomorrow or not. Yeah, I'm already looking at this hill and being like, nah, we don't have to do Egypt. Cause yeah, this hill is, <laughs> this hill is a big hill. I really don't know what I was thinking. I'm already tired. Ooh, that spider. Ooh, oh. <sighs> So the ATM machine did not work. It would not allow me to withdraw any cash. And now it's raining. And the next closest ATM is 15 kilometers away back in Benyuwangi. And nobody's picking us up. And nobody's picking us up, so. I've just asked the tour director if there's any way we can stop at an ATM in Banyuwangi, either before the tour or after the tour and pull out money that way. I'm not giving up, but we'll figure it out. So we got ourselves a little update. The tour group has agreed to let the driver take us to an ATM in the morning. So we will be able to get cash to pay for the trip, which is awesome. So it looks like we will be waking up at 1.30 in the morning and climbing a volcano. So we're gonna go get dinner right now. It's about 5.30 p.m. I'm excited, a little nervous, might be cold. It's, it's gonna be cold. Yeah, it's even a little it's chilly right now. So I've got a flannel and pants. Ashley has nothing. They said that they had, like they would let us <laughs> buy or rent a jacket. Yep. And I guess they've got like gloves and all kinds of stuff for sale up by the volcano itself. We'll make it work. We're gonna be, be fine. Fun. It's then, gonna be hard in the moment and then it's gonna be I'm sure up there with one of the best things we've ever done. Yeah, because like by nine <laughs> o'clock tomorrow morning, we're gonna be like, we climbed a volcano. <laughs> Fingers crossed. This is very modern. Yeah, where did this place come from? <laughs> This is what it looks like when Ashley's trying to talk herself out of doing this. <laughs> I research everything way more than I need to. You said you wanted to do this for your birthday, so we're doing it. Yeah. Ooh, I'm nervous. I don't know why I want to do it. Like, I don't know what I'm thinking. It's growing. That's what you're doing. Yeah. You wanting to do this is you growing. So now you just have to <laughs> do it and stick with it. Otherwise, you'll be not growing. Yeah. I'm scared. I just don't know if I can do it. So we ordered some beef rendang and some version of sweet and sour chicken. It's got mango in it. Sounds pretty interesting. We're gonna split that and then get to bed. This will probably be the earliest we've gone to bed ever. It's already chilly because of the wind <laughs> and we're still on the ground. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so it is much earlier than we would normally go to bed, but way later than we should. In like, what, seven hours, they're gonna come and get us, and we're gonna start our ascent of Mount Ejen. So we should go ahead and get some sleep. See you guys dark and early in the morning. Good night. Good night.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's 2.20 right now, and our guide just messaged us and said that he is here. Yeah, no backing out now. I'm not backing out. Are you backing out? So it rained all night. So hopefully that doesn't hinder our views. But either way, the the task is climbing the volcano, right? Not not getting good photos and views. Obviously, the photos and the views and the pictures is what we want to do. But the challenge is climbing the volcano. I guess we've got a couple minutes before we need to leave. Yeah, I'm very tired. Just uh, sitting by the fire right now and trying to warm up. It's not super cold. It's honestly not as bad as I expected, but it is a little chilly. So we're just uh, waiting until 4 a.m. I think that's when the gates open. We've got about 20 minutes, so we're just going to enjoy our little cappuccinos by the fire. You excited? Yeah. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm nervous. I think, I think we'll be fine. There's mad people here. There are so many people here. <laughs> Thank you. We just got our gas masks and they look like they've been replaced recently, so that's good. We're just finishing up our coffee now. Mike's gas mask keeps breaking, so he's trying to get another one right now. And yeah, it looks like we're getting ready to go. So, getting excited. So we've got our bracelets. Feels like a different kind of party now. Got my gas mask, which keeps breaking, but he assures me it'll be okay. So hopefully we'll be good. And I've got my headlight. We're ready to go. Sports mode. about 10 minutes of the trail. There's a place to go to the bathroom and buy water, which is good, because we don't have water. But now we do. So it is obviously dark, and now there's the sulfur smell. Not so bad. Good news is, we look up, we can see stars. Hopefully, that means it'll be clear at the top. And on the plus plus side, the crocs are doing great. I think it raining last night helped a lot because it packed all the loose gravel down. We're definitely at the steepest part. <sighs> Getting accosted by bugs. They said we've got about 800 meters to go and then it'll flatten off a little bit. So I'm ready for it. <laughs> Starting to get a little bit colder, which is nice because it's been hot. Yeah, we can smell the sulfur for real now. And uh, I was just wearing a flannel, but that was plenty warm enough to get me here. And now about one and a half kilometers up, it's too hot to wear the flannel. I'm hopeful that we will have beautiful views because I can see the peaks of other mountains now. The sun is definitely starting to come up. It still looks like we have a way to go. I'm gonna keep pushing on. It's already one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, so. I have to imagine it only gets better. All right, so this is insane. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking in a painting. Yeah, we are. <laughs> this is so pretty. Seriously, every corner we pass just gets more and more beautiful. Piece of advice, doesn't matter what the weather looks like at the bottom of the mountain. Hello. Hello. <laughs> It's one of the taxis. It doesn't matter at all what the weather looks like at the bottom of the mountain. It was raining, it was covered in clouds, now we're above all the clouds. So, just goes to show you, just do it. If you're thinking about hiking Ejen, wake your butt up and go hike Ejen. Oh my God. This is yeah, it's so pretty. And now we're at what feels like the really flat part, minus a couple little switchbacks that get us higher up, so. Yeah, this is 
this part's easy. Not so bad. Look at this though. It's crazy. Where's Ashley? Always lollygagging. <laughs> I'm coming. How are you from? Yeah, United States. Oh, America. You walk strong. Huh. Ah. Not as strong as you. <laughs> well, my friend, you are here. <laughs> <laughs> So that guy is one of the taxi drivers. He uh, uses those carts to bring up supplies and also people that are either too tired or unable to complete the hike. So I honestly cannot even imagine. I saw it took three guys to cart one person up the most steep part of the, the mountain. It just looks so difficult. I honestly don't know how they do it. This is <laughs> insanely beautiful. And we're at the crater. <laughs> I'm like getting emotional. <laughs> I cry over everything. <laughs> oh wow, look, the sulfur. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you crying because of the beauty or because of the sulfur? <laughs> uh, probably a little bit of everything. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I was so scared, honestly. I don't know why. Like, it sounds silly, but I just didn't know if I could do it. Well, you can. <laughs> yeah, then you This part, it's like walking on another planet. Holy cow, that is insane. Largest acid lake in the world, right here. So that's wild. We didn't get to see the blue flame because they only let you in the gates at 4 a.m. And it took us about an hour and a half to get up. So unfortunately, that's a bummer. This is definitely the best sunrise we've ever seen. Oh, hands down. <laughs> yeah. And we're so busy looking at the lake that we're not even looking at this like amazing stuff I behind know. us here. It's so beautiful. So this is the dead forest. As you can see, all the trees are not alive anymore. <laughs> I'm guessing it's because all the sulfur, but the ferns are still managing to, some of them are surviving, but it's pretty cool. I feel like we've learned two lessons today. Lesson number one, don't let the weather talk you out of doing something that you want to do, because it was not good conditions down where we were this morning near Lichen, but it is beautiful up here. And number two, smell sulfur, sulfur smells like farts. There are definitely some parts up here that are slick and treacherous, but it's been all A-OK -okay so far. Mostly getting stuck on little, little dead branches. Ashley's so fast, she always evades me. I'm like walking and she disappears. This is definitely one of the coolest environments I've ever been in, for sure. <laughs> Look at all those clouds. What's our elevation? How high up are we? All right, we're gonna see, elevation is 7,800 feet. This is almost the highest we've ever been. I'm really glad we did this. Definitely glad that we didn't talk ourselves out at 1.30 in the morning when we were tired and cold. So close. <laughs> I was about 60% of the way to talking myself out. So that other 40% that fought, I appreciate you. 
persistent, Mike. You made my day special. Oh, look at our shadows. <laughs> I'm glad we got here when we did and we were able to see it before all this fog settled in because now you can't see anything. I know that there's a lake down there and I know that it's full of acid. I'm sad the clouds are here, but I'm also glad we were so, so lucky in the beginning, you know? Yeah. It's still epic. I mean, like, look behind you. I know, right? Like, this isn't even getting any love and this is beautiful. <laughs> So you're telling me that lake is not a hot spring? <laughs> yes. Yeah, very heavy. Yeah, oh, look, 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 look. don't fall. God, it's so heavy. Is it? It's like doing deadlifts. And it stinks. <laughs> I have no idea how you'd carry this. Yeah, put it on your shoulders. I don't even think I can get it up on my shoulders. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Ooh, it does stink. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I could get it up on my shoulders. <laughs> no, no way. Maybe with help, I could hold it, but... No. That's crazy to me. And they do that two to three times per day. Yeah. For... nothing. Like, what, $8 something? It's like 10 to 15. Oh, if they get three times? Yeah. yeah. I've heard it's like six or seven dollars per trip. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Ooh. Definitely has an eggy smell. <laughs> okay, so we're starting in line for the toilet. It's at the top of the uh, crater, and there's a 5,000 uh, rupee fee per person. But the other toilet that's free is all the way at base camp, so we're not going to make it. So we just paid the 10000 and we're just waiting to use it. It is definitely harder to breathe once you've got these masks on, but I feel like it's better than it being harder to breathe because you've got a cloud of sulfur coming at you. I feel like all in all, we were pretty lucky. That was one of the coolest things I think we've ever done, yeah? We didn't see any miners actually carrying the sulfur on their shoulders up. I wonder if it's because they open the gates later and allow them more freedom to just do their job. But hopefully we'll make it down in time to catch our group and get back to our guest house, get some food, and then I think we gotta get a train or something today because we're on the move again. Yeah, we're gonna go check out another volcano because that's what we do now. We climb volcanoes. <laughs> I never would have thought Ashley being a volcano climber, but she impressed me today. She killed it. Truth be told, I also never considered myself a volcano climber, so I'm pretty impressed with us. <laughs> yeah, you did great. <laughs> Thanks. This feels like something that would be right up my alley, but not at all like something Ashley would want to do. <laughs> yeah. Sunrises, huh? Mm -hmm. They're pretty. Sunrises don't suck. <laughs> All right. That was incredible. Yeah. Best day ever? So far. It's up there. Only because I did it with you, though. <laughs> Going down's hard in a whole different, <laughs> like a whole different way. <laughs> oh, watch out. <laughs> so as you can see, the taxis will take you back down. I'm sure that's, I don't know if that's easier for them or harder. I, I imagine it's probably a little bit easier, but I still can't imagine. <laughs> like I'm just trying to keep my footing and not slip, and I can't imagine having a cart and another human that I had to try and like maneuver, especially when like, 
people like us are walking and keep getting in the way and hard job. We did it. 